please don't It wasn't his fault He means so much to me Daddy, please don't We're gonna get married Just you wait and see Hi guys Oh, look, I cut my hair Myself I pulled it forward on Friday Chopped two inches off I also cut my bangs, um, a little shorter than I wanted. You get for cutting your own hair. I like it. It's it's very different. It's it's an extreme haircut for me, but it is easier to straighten, and I like it. It's cute. So, favorite books. Oh my god, I love to read and. I'm going to be majoring in English um, when I start college in the fall. And I unfortunately don't own as many books as I would like to, but I've read a lot. Um, now, for a lot of them, I can't remember the author's names, but I will Google it and put them in the bar information bar. I guess it's no longer called the sidebar because it's not to the side, it's down here. Um, anyways, so some of my favorite books. Yes, the Twilight series, but let me put this out here, there. I do not read them to be intellectually stimulated. I read them to escape and because I like the story. But I will give you guys one thing. Vampires probably shouldn't sparkle, but anyways, I like them, and for those who care, my favorite books are New Moon and Breaking Dawn. Um, let's see what else, oh, Banner in the Sky, that's a really good book, uh, I read that about seven years ago, and I will be honest, the reason why I read it is because it's uh, Ryan Merriman's favorite book. For those of you who have no idea who that is, he's on a Disney Channel, several movies, uh, Ring of Endless Light, he was in which I want to read that. Um, Smart House, I'm totally blanking on a few others, but he was my huge, huge crush, crush seven years ago. Um, okay, what else? What else? Oh, the Left Behind series. That is a really good series. I like it. Yeah, speak like Amy said, and keeping you a secret. Two of my favorite books. They're amazing. And let's see what else? Oh, Nicholas Sparks. Oh, he is amazing. He's just the Notebook. Um. Knights in Rodanthe, Bend in the Road, Dear John, oh my god, he's amazing. What I love is he tells, he makes it realistic because there are a lot of, you know, love stories that are so oh, fluffy and oh, we love each other and everything's okay. That's okay, that's a small percentage of how love happens, but a lot of times it's not easy it's sometimes there's stuff that gets in the way and you can't have the person you want and sometimes it's forbidden and it's just he makes it real you know he like an example from the notebook she has to choose between noah and lon two really great guys and he made sure that he made Lon a good guy because then you're like, well crap, who does she choose? Because they're both good guys and that happens to people. So I just, he's an amazing author. And I'm about 100 pages in the Lovely Bones. I get distracted. Oh, and I just finished uh, 1984. It reminds me of an episode of Doctor Who. Seriously. So, that is all I can think of right now. I need to buy more books. Oh, I started reading Wicked. I don't know what it is. I need to finish that. Uh, 
I love the musical. The book's not bad. Different than the musical, but not bad. So I need to go to like Goodwill and visit their dollar books section one day and just get a bunch of books. Maybe this summer I'll do that. Um, I'm a little hyper. I don't know why. Oh, because it's eight more. Um, so I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week. I have to go to a dentist appointment for a minute. And I love you all. Happy reading. And see you guys next week. Bye.